In this video, we're going to take a look at solving systems that have three variables and three equations in them. And the strategy for finding the x, y, and z that makes all three equations true is we must eliminate the same variable twice. What that means is, let's say we pick on the y's. We get rid of the y's twice. That's going to give us two equations that only have x and z in them. We know how to solve equations with two variables, and so we'll use one of those systems because we'll have two equations with two variables we can solve with more elimination addition. So let's look at this example here, example 1. To help us stay organized, and organization is going to be key to solving these problems because there's going to be a lot of work shown, I'm going to give them Roman numerals 1, 2, and 3. And we're going to look at this equation, we're going to decide which variable might be easiest to eliminate. One thing we might notice is we've got positive 5z and negative 5z from equations 1 and 2. Equations 1 and 2. So we decide we're going to be eliminating the z twice. So equation 1 is 3x minus 3y plus 5z equals 16. Equation 2 is 2x minus 6y minus 5z equals 35. And again, we've got those opposites in front of z like we want so that they eliminate, giving us 5x minus 9y is equal to 51. Now we're going to need this equation in a moment, so I'm going to call this equation A when I come back to talk about equation A. But we need to go back to the beginning because I said we need to eliminate the same variable twice. So we need to eliminate the z again. Where would it be easy to eliminate z again? Ah, this is really nice because we've got positive 5z and negative 5z from equations 2 and 3. So let's use equations 2 and 3. Equation 2 is 2x minus 6y minus 5z equals 35. Equation 3, negative 5x minus 12y plus 5z equals 28. And again, I've got those opposites in front of z like we want. So when we add them together, the z's are gone and we have negative 3x minus 18y equals 63. And I'm going to call that equation B. The reason for that is now I can bring equations A and B together, which have two equations, 5x minus 9y equals 51 and negative 3x minus 18y equals 63. I have two equations with two variables in them. We know how to solve these. We can get opposites in front of the y if we multiply the first equation by negative 2. I'm going to move over to the left here, giving me negative 10x plus 18y equals negative 102. The second equation is still negative 3x minus 18y equals 63. And when we add those together with the y's eliminating, we have negative 13x is equal to negative 39. Well, that's nice because now we can get the x alone by dividing by negative 13. Negative 13, so x is equal to 3. Now that we have x, most of the work is done, we're going to start finding the other variables. Remember, we said we were going to focus on a and b. a and b are not done yet, we only know what x is, we still need to find y. Neither equation is necessarily easy to find y, so let's just pick one. Let's go with the first one. 5x, or 5 times 3, minus 9y equals 51. 5 times 3 is 15, minus 9y equals 51. So we subtract 15 from both sides. Negative 9y is equal to 51, minus 15 is 36. Divide both sides by negative 9, and y is equal to negative 4. Now we've got x and y, now we can go all the way back to the very beginning to find z. 
Doesn't matter which equation we pick, I'll pick the one with the smaller numbers, just because I think that'll be easier. So equation 1 is 3x, which is n 3, minus 3y, which is negative 4, plus 5z equals 16. 3 times 3 is 9, plus 12, plus 5z equals 16. 9 and 12 is 21, plus 5z equals 16. Subtract 21. 5z is equal to negative 5. Divide by 5, and z equals negative 1. We finally have our solution for x, y, and z. x is 3, y is negative 4, and z is negative 1. Let's try another example that might be a little more... make this a little more concrete. Again, this example, we're going to number them 1, 2, and 3. And again, we're looking for opposites to maybe eliminate easier. Ah, we got another nice one. The y's from equations 1 and 2. So equations 1 and 2. 1 is negative x plus 2y plus 4z equals negative 20. 2 is negative 2x minus 2y minus 3z equals 5. And now that we have the opposites in front of y that can eliminate, we now have negative 3x plus z equals negative 15. That is our equation A. We've eliminated y once. Now we're going to go back and eliminate it again. Notice equation 3 and equation 1 are ready to be eliminated. So let's go there. Let's use equations 1 and 3. Negative x plus 2y plus 4z equals negative 20. Equation 3 is 4x minus 2y minus 2z equals 26. And with the opposites in front of y like we want, eliminating, we have 3x plus 2z equals 6. And that's our equation B. We're now ready to bring A and B together and solve those separately. A is negative 3x plus z equals negative 15. B is 3x plus 2z equals 6. And this is really nice because we already have opposites in front of x. So let's just keep going. Add them together, we have 3z equals negative 15 plus 6 is negative 9. Divide by 3, and we now know that z is equal to negative 3. That was a real nice treat. To find the other variable, we still work with a and b. We got to get them completely solved. I think the smaller numbers come from b, so let's go there. 3x, we don't know, plus 2z, which is negative 3, equals 6. So 3x minus 6 equals 6. Add 6 to both sides, and 3x equals 12. Divide both sides by 3, and x is equal to 4. We now have two of our solutions. We go back to the original equations at the very beginning. I think the smaller numbers come from the second equation, so let's go there. Negative 2x, which is 4, minus 2y, minus 3z, which is negative 3, equals 5. Multiplying, negative 8 minus 2y plus 9 equals 5. Combine like terms, 1 minus 2y equals 5. Subtract 1 from both sides, negative 2y equals 4. Divide by negative 2, this solving part should be very much reviewed by now. y is equal to negative 2. We have our final solution, x, y, z, 4, negative 2, negative 3. We found this solution by picking on a variable, eliminating the same variable twice. This gave us two equations with two variables, which we could solve for completely.